drops it again. End around. Pierce and L. And he throws it for no reason. He had the end zone in his sight. Decided to try and throw it to Marcus Lucas, and it falls incomplete. You can see Jonathan Hayes going, what are you doing? I think he was surprised. It's supposed to be a throw. Think about it. Run the ball. Look, look at me. It's all right. Think about it. Run the ball in, right? I know you wanted another completion, but run the ball in. <laughs> you yourself as a runner are in the progression, and a lot of times coaches will say you're number one. If it's there, take it with your feet, which it was for Pearson L. And Ace goes down to his knees because he knows that it was the wrong rebound. And this team has had so many of those big plays all day on defense. Edmund, just for you, you come in, this team leading the league in sacks. How good did it feel for that sack fumble? Feel good. Feel, yeah, so yeah, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Here, first down and goal for New York. Three tight ends. And Perez to throw for it. It's caught. Touchdown. Mikhail McKay working over Harlan Miller for the New York touchdown. And the Guardians jump back on top. That's a great throw. And there's a presence right in his lap. <laughs> he had to buy just a little bit more time. But just enough time to recognize that he had an opportunity for the back shoulder. Great throw from Perez and McKay using that six foot six frame. I think it should be you want it? down. I'm going to give it to you right now. Remember that flag. Off the play fake. Here's Johnson. Loads up. He's got a man. It's Whitfield in the end zone. No. Saeed Blackman. Starting to kind of make this break. That safety stays put and stops. And as a result, Blacknell gets over the top. Too much firepower for Dallas, even though I really like Dallas. Juan Harris making some people miss. He's across midfield. Luke's in between quarterbacks and wide receivers. That happened on every series. Here's Josh Johnson loading up for a sideline shot. And it is caught. Ladder. To the left side. New York rushing four. They've dropped everybody back into coverage. Harris, last ditch effort here. Flag comes out. That's Blackball. He'll pitch it back for Johnson. He'll throw it for Jennings. Flags continue to come in here. Might be the longest last play ever. Here's Jennings now. Pitches it back. Hits the tip. Blacknall now. And he'll finally be dropped. Into no. Seattle territory for the first time. They pull it back in another completion. All the way into the end zone. Easy touchdown. St. Louis. DeMorne Pearson L with the home folks. Another terrific read from the quarterback. St. Louis will attempt a two-point try from the five-yard line. 27 yards on that strike, and what a drive by Tabu. Watch as the linebacker, see the linebacker flow over the top right there. So what does he do? He replaces that linebacker with the football. Pearson L. Pass and run. Tabu with time. Hit. They get the conversion. Let's see if the quarterback got up. Marcus Lucas made the catch. Already up by eight. Here's Tomu on the keeper. Option play, and it's bobbled forward. Touchdown. Wow, what a recovery by Keith Ford. Great hands from Ford. He was bobbling it, it felt like, for about five yards. But the play was made by Tamu because he got all the way into the linebacker there. As you get in there, and Nick Temple had to take the quarterback. Then he pitches it out. The bobble from Ford, who gets some tough running, keeps himself inbounds. Flies on good field position. On the keeper, it's Daniels right up the middle. What a run. Yeah. Stiff arm. 
<laughs> Still trying to stiff arm. And zone. Yeah, led him to the touchdown. And here he keeps it again and then throws it. Alonzo Moore. And there's that threat of the run making a difference, keeping pressure on this defense. Go. To the air this time. Deep down the left. Mumphrey caught. Another big play by this St. Louis offense and Tamu. That 43 ball, on the pass. That ball was thrown absolutely perfectly. And Mumphrey got the step down the field and he needs some other guys to step up. Third down, going deep down the field. Caught as he inbounds. I think there's a conversation here. And yes, it looks like he's inbounds for the completion. It was coached. Going on the field is a catch inbounds for a first down. Everything goes from there. Yes. Throw, pressure on. Oh, what a catch. First down, a one-hander, as you were saying. These guys, I'm telling you, these guys are really, really good players, and they're doing a great job. You see Artis Payne here does a nice job just getting lost, getting lost. They tell the running back, wait for your first offensive lineman to break and get right in behind him. You see him there. There's only one of his first six. Pressure coming, throws it around. Holly back shoulder. What a grab. He's inside the 30. A beauty to Nick Holly turned around to make the catch. He's got 23 yards. This is one of those kids you just can't help but cheer for. His story coming out of Kent State, kind of a running back, wide receiver, kind of jack of all trades. Look at that back shoulder. Watch him track this ball. Back shoulder puts it in a great location. First and goal. Walker throws. It is caught for the touchdown. Nick. this offense. Roughneck's going for three here. Walker going to take off. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. What a move for three points for the Roughnecks. Wow. Come on, you see it here from his vantage point. They kind of just drop out. They only rush three. They got eight guys in coverage. And he's got it. I mean, he's just the best athlete on the field. You see T. Gray Scales has a chance to tackle him, but he really has no chance to it. Jones rolling his way in the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> Any means possible, and Dallas is on the board. Castillo. That is going to be well short. Smith's going to try a return. Nothing to lose. Smith makes a man miss. Makes another. Deron Smith has some blocking. Still Heck <laughs> of a return. Back to the quarterback at such a severe angle so he can't drive the route. Walker running people over. P.J. Walker put the shoulder pads down and took it right to Donatello Brown. And look at his O-lineman. They love it. Let's hear it. They love it. That's awesome. At least he led with his non-throwing shoulder. Oh. I don't know that the coaches would love that, but blitz coming on a third and one. Walker going for it all, and he gets it all! Touchdown, Blake Jackson! Do it again. Here they get a screen, they get some room. Dunbar, good cut! Lance Dunbar, inside the 10! By the way, it's working. Seven. Jones goes down, though. Try to ball. to go with the ball you can just see from this angle the pocket just really collapses on him they don't they run a little te stunt great job there great rush edmund robinson he gets the trifecta he gets the sack the force fumble and the touchdown they got a tight end and a three-point stance instead they get it to nagel and that play is not gonna go anywhere as a matter of fact it's picked off what Oh my God. It never hit the ground. And Gates has it for Houston. Oh my gosh, that's absolutely 
heartbreaking, but they can't quit. They got a minute 57. Balls on the minus five. That was an incredible play. What a play. This defense, though, they need to come out and rally. They've got to hold Houston where they are, and they're going to get another crack at this thing. Look at the ball. One-handed. What a... Oh, my gosh. Good things happen when you run to the ball, KB. They work on it. Just bobbles it. Redirect Jalen Tolliver. A run straight ahead. Temple paying off for Tampa Bay. And a surge into the end zone. Touchdown, Jaquez Patrick from eight yards out. We're not yet out of the first quarter. Ball on the ground, scooped up by the Vipers, Jaquez Patrick. And he's going to make something happen. Patrick inside the five. <laughs> Daniel Williams trying to make people miss. Reverses field. And he sprints through everybody. Daniel Williams looking for a block. What an amazing run into D.C. territory. The East St. Louis product picks up 38. This Tampa offense is playing with so much confidence right now. Even a broken play because of the hustle. You make a couple guys miss. And when you come back across, because the defense is all chasing the ball, now your offensive lineman getting downfield. You get a couple receiver blocks, and all of a sudden, you're on the 32-yard line. Darnell Jones facing pressure. Gets hit as he throws. Jump ball. And it's taken back by Tampa Bay. Tavares McFadden with the interception. We got a flag back in the coverage. You want to make, but honestly, as a receiver, you have to break this up. You cannot allow. On third and four, pressure up the middle. Cornelius will take off with it. To the five, to the goal line. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Taylor Cornelius took a shot at the end of that run. Man-to-man -man coverage by D.C. They're trying to find a way to bring pressure to Cornelius. Does a nice job realizing all the defensive backs back are to him. So when he sees his gap, takes off running, takes a huge hit to get this ball in the end zone. There's the hit. <laughs> really seems like those defensive play calls are coming in late for D.C. What a catch off the bobble. Colin Thompson scoops it up. Vipers playing with the house money. This is probably the third play we've seen tonight where it's been a broken play, something's gone wrong. Now all of a sudden, something's gone right.